And I sometimes when I watch all like these um, YouTube videos of fan lifers that are really like, um, yeah, super popular, they only show the prettiest things. Um, then I also think, ah, uh, you know, if I want fan life, it can only be that. I, I don't realize that you can just let it be whatever you want to be. We've been living in our van for almost a year now, and for the first time, we're being joined by a special guest. Emma! Hi! Hi. <laughs> Meet Emma, our dear friend and fellow creative spirit, who's staying with us in our van for the next few days. As a brand new YouTuber, she's making a short film about her life on the road, diving deep into the reality of fan life. I loved leaving Ghent. I loved leaving the city. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Aww. I'm so excited. I could tear up now, but I will not. Emma's here for two, three days to sleep with us in the van. We're gonna yes. have a whole new I mean, not experience. sleep with us. No. Well, technically, <laughs> there's a fine line between sleeping with us, but yeah, we're gonna sleep together. Yeah, the line is really fine. It's like only a few centimeters, even. <laughs> We won't have any privacy. Yeah, we have no privacy. And I have to pee a lot at night. So I'm really, I'm kind of like, I already have been thinking, how can I manage? Should I like always escape out of the van to go pee and poop? Or should I just... You're going to be traumatized. <laughs> Ooh, I think I need to go to the toilet. Turn the van. Okay, you'll just have to say action, cut, yeah. stop. All right, yeah. and report. And All right. All right. Let's do it. You really need to pee, okay? <laughs> So Emma, get used to this because you're going to see a lot of this <laughs> the coming two days. <laughs> this is so wrong. Like Just like us, Emma feels a genuine connection to nature. I feel so suffocated in the city and this is the first time for me to be away from the city um, since so long. And from the moment I actually stepped down from the train, um, I instantly felt already so free and alive. I always find it hard to explain what I feel exactly when I'm um, this close to nature and this close to just living in the moment. And I'm just excited to share our stories and our passion as well of being outdoors being away. She's one of the few people in her life who truly understands what it feels like to be a little lost in today's society. To want more from life than what we've been told. That's why we decided to get as far away from the city as possible, to spend some time in a more remote place in the country. Okay, we've gotten to that point already. <laughs> Does he always have these good ideas? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Bye. We're going to a really cool parking spot that we saw on the map. That's a bit more remote and next to the water. So hopefully I can get there. <laughs> How come you're driving? <laughs> because Stefan's flying the drone. So then I have no excuse but to drive. Sharing our van, our sanctuary built for two, is a whole new experience. We're not used to having another person in our home. We built this van with just the two of us in mind. We never imagined it as a place we'd had to share. It's literally made for two people. Two seats, two cups, two pillows. We had no idea what it would be like to have someone else make themselves at home in our van. Can you show me how the toilet works, please? That's a phrase I thought I would never say. <laughs> Welcome to van life, baby. There are two holes. The first hole is where you have to pee. This is what they call number one. 
and uh, the second hole is where your poo goes. So if you need to take a poo or a dump, you just open this lever. <laughs> I didn't see that poo. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. Can we go outside? Can you get out, please? Okay. Where's Gizmo? And close the door. Where's Gizmo? Ah. Ah. Where's Gizmo? There he is. Gizmo. Nice try. No? You sneaky cats! Zero privacy. Actually, I just see your face. Actually, I. You we can't really see I nothing. I don't really mind. We only see your face. We can't see nothing yeah. else. I mean. It's revealing, it though. It sounds like you just have a tap open. It does. <laughs> I didn't know I would be so relaxed by the fact that I'm peeing right now. You're filming me, and you both can hear me pee. This is a uh, next phase in my life. Someone is already adjusting to van life really quickly and very soon. How someone else would perceive the basic routines that come with this nomadic life. Whoa. Yet, as Emma settles in, it feels surprisingly right. Oh my god! <laughs> the rhythm of our daily routines, once so intimate, now naturally includes our friend. I'm watching the in-betweeners <laughs> and it's fun. <laughs> Receipts, cups and pillows find new purpose, effortlessly adapting to this unexpected addition. Copy that over and out. Emma's presence somehow feels like it was always meant to be, a seamless fit into a nomadic world. It's a breath of fresh air to have someone else behind the camera for a change. Another opinion, another perspective, another vision, another fresh wave oh my of creative God. ideas. I was recording. <laughs> so you, you first have to press record and then record. you say action for yourself. How many steps are there? Like, two, like two steps, two, steps. two steps basically. Okay. We're trying to teach Emma some tips and tricks of how to film with a zoom, with this wide angle. Lens, and I'm going to get Gizmo okay, now. Okay, three, two, one. Yeah. It's here. Yeah. It all expands our horizons job. and opens our minds That's to more right. possibilities. That's what? That's five seconds. Oh my god. So five seconds is We're inspiring each other in ways we never seconds. imagined possible. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Last week I was visiting a friend and then I had to pee really urgently or no toilet and then I went into the bushes and I put my underpants down, I squeezed down and I want to start peeing and then I see that I'm squeezed down in an ant. No! What's the name for it in English? An ant's nest? Ant's nest. What a woman has to go through. We hike, laugh and create content together, finding joy in every moment. <laughs> Why should people subscribe to your channel? <laughs> I'm not good at telling you. <laughs> but you just did. I just started vlogging and everything went wrong. I'll try to, I don't know, have fun and like learn about filmmaking, making videos and I have to tell the stories that I want to tell. I don't know. But so this is Emma, her channel. Definitely go to, go to J Emma's channel and support her, subscribe and like. And uh, now we're going forward for the hike. Yeah. Selection of three. Oh, different and a blind bars. choice. Why did it only we have two and she gets to choose? Because she's our guest. I'm a guest. If she's a guest, she gets more. I will, of course, go for the salted caramel. Emma's Good insights choice. help us refine our communication skills while we share everything we know about camera techniques. But of course, yeah, if you really want to make something, you want to tell a story, 
I think it's important to do it right and to um, invest in it as well. Invest in your images, invest in your characters to be able to portray them well. It's a beautiful exchange of knowledge, ideas and perspective. How am I liking it? I am um, loving it beyond. I am so ready to go to bed. She's I'm very really tired. tired. So I need to blow this up. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be a long night. I would suggest to put your head there and not here. Because here is the Gizmo's litter box. We were hiking in the beautiful forest and we heard this freaking alarm of a car alarm going off. Very close to where our van is located. Are you okay? If the van was stolen, Emma would have had a really bad first experience in the van. Emma? What about us? We won't have any home. Emma would have a place to go home at least. We won't have any home. We have conversations about life, dreams and the beauty that surrounds us. In the quiet moments we find meaning. So do you feel like you can live this lifestyle? I am more than convinced that I can. Right now I'm getting older, I just want to find another way of traveling. Um, something, yeah, that's... that's Much mm, more suited to your lifestyle. Mm, yeah, exactly. I'm only a guest in your house, but it. I don't know, I, feel, I really feel at home. I don't feel any discomfort at all. What the hell is that? I'm what am I saying? This is so... <laughs> this is making me uncomfortable right now. I'm also going to take a dump right now, so... Uh, <laughs> this is the reality. This is the reality of van life. Just this morning only when we were just, we woke up, you know, the door goes open, the back door goes open, you're just like surrounded by nature, you're inside nature and just feeling that made me feel so alive and down to earth. And I, I was so focused on the driving part of being in a van, like, oh no, all the miles you have to drive. But actually, that's such a small amount of time. Just being here and experiencing this with you, instead of just like uh, watching your vlogs, made it so real for me, the idea, you know? Instead of me thinking, oh, this is, you know, somebody else is doing this, is living this life. It made, sometimes I can feel so small or insignificant and in thinking like, yeah, I can never achieve that. And just being here with you guys made me just realize like it's a choice you make and you can do that. And I sometimes when I watch all like these um, YouTube videos of fan lifers that are really like, um, yeah, super popular and they show like the... The lives. Only, they only show the prettiest things. Um, then I also think, ah, you know, if I want fan life, it can only be that. I, I don't realize that you can just let it be whatever you want to be. In the end, we're just three people, one van, one cat, and a whole world to explore. Don't